How many of you only use Keepa for looking at the sales history and the sales rank history? Hi, I'm Alex with AC Flips on YouTube. I'm a full-time six-figure Amazon seller. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the data tab with Keepa and how to utilize every feature in that data tab. There's so much data that Keepa offers and a lot of it is super helpful in making good buying decisions. It also help you weed out the bad products a lot quicker and make sure you're not spending time on things that aren't valuable to your business. If you guys find this helpful, subscribe to the channel, but let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna look at this Biotene Fluoride Toothpaste. It comes in a three pack, $28, 51K rank in health and household, sells a decent amount per month. Let's scroll down to the Kiba chart. If you don't already have this Kiba chart automatically added to each Amazon listing you look at, you need to have the Chrome extension, and then you can set it to automatically pop up on your Amazon listing whenever you're looking at one. So I'm sure a lot of you look at the buy box price, you see that sales rank in there, the amount of sellers on the listing, and the review count. And I bet you a lot of you don't go much further than that. But there's so much information that Keeper provides, and a lot of it is on this data tab here. The data tab is going to provide so many things that I think are going to help you make smarter buying decisions when sourcing product. So I wanted to jump into a couple of these things to hopefully give you guys a little bit more information to help you understand what information you should be looking at uh, that's gonna help you make smarter and quicker decisions. It's not just about making you know, smart decisions. You wanna be able to do this quickly so you can go through a lot of products. You don't wanna just be able to sort through 10 products in an hour. You want to do 50 to 100 products in an hour or even more depending on how quickly you can get through things. So you can see there's just a ton of information here. This whole left side, not super important. You have the ACE in here that you can copy. Uh, it's health and household. But basically what we, wanna, we wanna look at the current sales rank, right? What is it at now? 50K rank. We wanna look at the 30 day average, 59,000. So it was a little bit higher in the past. Uh, seems to be coming down. Maybe that's because we're in Q4 and we're getting closer to you know, Black Friday. We're getting closer to Christmas. Maybe this is uh, one of those giftable items. Toothpaste, I don't know if people are getting toothpaste as a gift, but you never know. And then we can look at you know the 90 day sales rank, which I think if you go too, too far back, you're kind of the trend of 180 days ago was probably a little bit different than it is now. Um, trends definitely change more frequently than in every 180 days. So I think 90 days is a good one to cap it at, but we're at 71,000. So we see a slight drop in sales rank over time, uh, which is, you know, that's okay to see, but really you want to understand what is the sales rank doing over time? You can kind of see a trend here. Maybe you see that it's a little bit higher um, back in mid September. And then now that early November, we see a little bit lower. The numbers in the data tab really paint that picture for you. You can look at and see Amazon, have they been on the listing in the last 90 days? Looks like they've been out of stock 100% of the time, which is good. And lastly, you wanna see the buy box averages over time, just as important as looking at the sales rank over time. We see 180 day average, $29, 90 day average, just about the same. Maybe there's a slight dip recently and maybe that contributes to the lower sales rank as of recent, but we can see that the price on this thing really stays very similar. Now we wanna to go to the offers tab. The offers tab is honestly maybe even more valuable. We can see what current sellers are listing their price at, how much they have in stock. These numbers aren't completely accurate, but it does paint somewhat of a picture, how much they've sold, how much they've sold in the last 30 days, which is important. And then you can also see, are they shipping FBA? Are they FBM? What is their rating review count? And another feature that's I think a little bit underrated is when this was first seen. This basically tells you how long they've been on this listing. Obviously this seller has been able to source this product profitable for a very long time, 53 months. That's, you know, multiple years. This one's 18 months. You're seeing two months, five months. So some of these people are able to source this product uh, for quite a while, which is good to see. That means that, you know, this product is probably a steady one, might be replenishable for some of these top sellers here, but we can see the price is $28, $31.33. The nice thing is we can understand that these FBA sellers are selling for a little bit higher of a price. $33 is the lowest FBA seller right now. But for this listing, we know it's dominated by an FBM seller. We can also include historical sellers on this listing, checkbox at the top here. This is very important because a lot of times when something's selling really quickly, the sellers like to drop off, especially if people can't find it quite profitable. But you're not gonna see that if this is unchecked. So when you check this, it could bring up a bunch of sellers that were selling it in the past. And maybe you see, you know, what they've sold in the past, the price that the average price that they listed it at. You can, you know, look and see were they on this listing a long time. 
stuff like that. And that's going to help give you a better understanding of the long-term trend of this listing and if people are currently finding it profitable and if they have been able to find it profitable in the past. One more thing to add here, you can change the range of this. Looks like we're set from the last 90 days. We can go 180, we can search the last 30 days. It basically is just showing what they have in stock, what their average price was in this range. And all these things are just gonna help contribute to making a better buying decision. The last tab we have here is the buy box statistic. This is very important because, because we wanna understand if you were to jump on this listing, what percentage do you think you would be able to capture on this listing? Obviously we know this one seller, the FBM seller has gotten a ton of the buy box share, probably because they're able to somehow source it profitably, maybe wholesale at that little bit lower price than all the FBA sellers. We see FBA sellers are at least 29, 30, $33 currently. In the, uh, as we saw on the offers tab, a lot of the FBA sellers are in the 32, $33 range. So, Naturally, the lowest price here, FBM, is going to win most of the buy box share. So if we wanted to sell this product and we were only able to find it profitable at that $32, $33 range, we can expect maybe two to 3% of the buy box share. And based on that, we can maybe try to calculate how many sales per month we think we can sell this item. If we use the seller amp extension, we see 151 sales, two to 3% of that might give you a good indicator of how many sales per month we can sell on this listing. Looks like it's mostly dominated at this lower price. Might be hard to match that price. You're gonna to have to sell a little bit higher, which means you're gonna get a little bit less share of the buy box. We can also change the date ranges on these as well, which might help change the percentage or see the percentage over time. You can see after in the last 90 days, that top seller has a little bit less buy box share in the last 30 days, obviously it goes up. So maybe that means that less people are on the listing and this one's all, the top seller is always in stock, which means they're gonna get more of that buy box share. Maybe there were more sellers on the listing, which you can see there are more sellers on the listing in the last 90 days. Maybe these people are getting the buy box a little bit more often, but then selling out, which is why in the last 30 days, this one, the top seller here gets more of the buy box share. All good information to help you make the best buying decision. All right, so Keepa is just much more than just a sales history tracker. There's so much with the data tab that you can use to help make better buying decisions in the future. So if you guys found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.